I didn't want to make this video. I really didn't. But it's kind of a necessity if you're going to do East Coast camping. Like tonight, I looked in every single campground in the area and they were all booked because the East Coast is very populated and very popular. So I'm out of options and I must stealth camp. But today you're going to be my passenger as I walk through my routine of getting ready to stealth camp. My favorite. But first, a shower. And we have arrived at our destination, the Planet Fitness. Great for all your showering and working out needs. But first we have to pack the shower bag. I'm always really bad at packing a bag ahead of time, you know, like making it nice for myself. So I end up just reaching through the back here. It's really nice. Anyways. T-shirt. Uh, where'd my shorts go? I think I wore those last night. Gorgeous. You know, I don't think I restocked my shampoo and conditioner either. Why do I set myself up for failure? I always find it entertaining how there's all these like attractive fit people going in and then there's me. I haven't showered in three days. Yeah. And I definitely don't look fit, so there's that. This is the no judgment zone, right? <laughs> Alright, here goes nothing. squeaky clean literally my crocs are squeaking <coughs> yeah all right now we have to find a place to sleep also i'm kind of hungry but i don't have any food so we might go to the store this is what happened you get caught up swimming with the manatees and you forget to eat <laughs> all right we're gonna see what the deal with Publix is they have food. It says food on the sign, so I'm hopeful. <laughs> so hungry. <laughs> Got these little sliders. We'll see how they taste. Should be fine. This is my life now. Store sandwich. <laughs> okay, this is my own doing. I didn't prepare. Alright. Edible. Alright, we have arrived at our destination. For stealth purposes, I'm going to put up the thingies, the window covers, before <laughs> I turn on any lights. Yeah. Have the window covers up and next thing we gotta do is crawl in the back once i clean it out all right coming back <laughs> yeah I knew that was gonna happen again like i said this is not ideal this is just a means to an end when you're in a pinch this is the first time I'm trying this type of location, so hopefully we sleep through the night okay. And this is why I don't film in my car. Number one, because it's boring. Number two, because I'm a mess. Number three, number one, I'm boring, two, I'm a mess. Three, the lighting's really bad and it's really small in here, so it's hard to find a way to set up the camera. And number four, it's boring. <laughs> Yeah, for anyone who is curious, this is this is what it's like at nighttime. Not as much fun as the daytime. I was swimming with manatees and now I'm here in the back of my car. About to sweat to death because it's Florida. Also, for anyone who is wondering about where I'm staying, this is where I'm staying. Are you going to focus? Yeah. Emergency department. It was an emergency. 
now we are all tucked in. I'm done with today. <laughs> I hope I sleep okay. I actually slept really, really well. I only woke up once at 2.30, so that was a successful night, I would say. It only got down to like 65 last night, but I just used this blanket that has holes in it, and it actually kept me warm and cool at the same time, so that worked out. <laughs> Thanks, sister. I appreciate it. All that's left to do is reorganize the car. I packed way too much for Florida. All the extra swimming stuff, so <laughs> yeah. Let's get the car ready. And this is as organized as we're gonna get in the morning. But that's an accurate representation of how a stealth camping night goes for me in morning. Not too exciting, not too thrilling. This is not the fun part about traveling. It's not the worst though. It just is what it is. Actually, it was really not that bad. I've had way worse nights where car doors were slamming all night. Um, this was a really small, small location. So not too many people going in and out. So that was a really good night's sleep. Sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you're up every hour. It's like having a newborn, but it's you trying to sleep in a car. It's like you're the newborn. No, that's a, that doesn't work. I'm sorry. All right, I'm tired. I'm not tired. I slept great. I got like, Nine hours of sleep. All right, so here are my final thoughts on stealth camping. Um, stealth camping can be avoided if you plan properly and prepare in advance and actually look in the area. You're able to find places or if you're willing to drive. It's really a last resort option for me. And I'm a poor planner. So it happens to me more than it should. Another thing to note is that stealth camping puts you into situations where you're at a higher risk than campsites would. Um, you're in a public area, which your car could get broken into. You could get a ticket from the police. You could have a towing situation. It's just not a situation you wanna be in and your sleep suffers. While it is free, it's not worth it. <laughs> For me, it's poor planning and then a safety issue. I get really tired and I don't want to fall asleep at the wheel, so I'd rather sleep somewhere for a few hours. But yeah, those are my thoughts on that. So honestly, sleep so much better at campsites or public land that's designated for overnight sleeping. You have to consider what the point of value is. Is your value your safety and your mental state and <laughs> your sanity? Or is it saving a few bucks you know so for me I'd rather pay a few extra dollars to feel safe than to do this but like I said if it does come down to where you're too exhausted to drive it's better to sleep it off somewhere so those are my thoughts on that and think before you do it